Dr. Rob is here from the Big Sky Pet Center, and we are talking about something that's happening in homes across the area right now. People are putting out rat poisons exactly. to keep those pesky mice um, out of their home, but that could backfire. That can. Uh, our dogs are very opportunistic eaters, and uh, those bait bars and, and pellets taste great, obviously. So they'll get in there and eat those, and if they eat mm -hmm. too many of them, that can be deadly, Ugh. obviously. So. All right, Let's talk a little about the process that, that goes on with these poisons and how they work. So they are an, an anticoagulant. They stop our blood from clotting. So basically what happens is, is that you have a bleeding to death situation internally. That's why we don't usually see blood in the mice and that type of thing. They run off and, mm -hmm. and die on their own. But for our dogs, um, and it can happen in cats also, is they ingest enough, they'll get a bloody nose, they'll have bleeding in their stools, bleeding in their vomiting, and, and if you suspect that your animal has ingested those, you need to visit your veterinarian immediately. There is a great antidote for it. Usually, if it's quick enough, we can induce vomiting and get as much out of the, the pet as possible, but then vitamin K um, is the antidote. We can give it as an injection and then oftentimes as a pill uh, for several, sometimes four weeks, um, they need to be on it uh, while that's taking place. All right, so there is still some hope after the animals. Get exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is, there, is there a better solution uh, for somebody who wants to get rid of rodents, or is it just a matter of maybe being careful where you put this out? Right, I think being careful definitely is that uh, a, a good point, Ed. And then the other thing would be maybe going back to the old-fashioned traps, if that's something that people want to take on themselves. Mm -hmm. Plenty of exterminators in the area anymore that yeah. people will come in and do that for you if, if that needs to be. I'm sure they're doing things much safer and much more cautiously. All right, well, Dr. Rob, thank you so much. A good reminder for this time of year. We really do appreciate it. Thank you.